All right, welcome back to the Brooklyn Brothers Cooking Channel. Today, it's not Brooklyn Brothers, it's today's Brooklyn brother and son. <laughs> Chef Dom, he uh, hurt his back this morning, or actually last night, and uh, couldn't make it today. Yesterday, we all went to go see that new Exorcist movie, and uh, it just killed his back sitting down for a few hours. All right, today we're going to show you how to make regatta balls, a little different than meatballs. Uh, these are uh, basically fried and uh, you can serve this as an appetizer or a side dish. Anyway, uh, before I start this introduction, I want to give a shout out to our cousin Jeremy and April. Happy anniversary! Anyway, we went to their uh, wedding anniversary party a couple weeks ago and we had a phenomenal time. All right, let's get started on these ricotta balls. These are real simple ingredients here. Of course, we got the ricotta, there's some fresh garlic, fresh parsley, some pecorino romano, salt, pepper, eggs, and breadcrumb. And a little bit of flour is all you need. We're gonna start off with some uh, garlic, just a couple of cloves. I'm gonna use a press because you want a smooth consistency in every bite. You don't want to have chunks of garlic in your regatta balls. About a half a cup of uh, Pecorino Romano. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of parsley. And then just a pinch of salt because um, the Pecorino is a little salty. And then some black pepper. And then about a cup of plain breadcrumbs all right and then three eggs and that's all there is to that now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this all together blend all those ingredients together all right got this ready all right I'm gonna go ahead and start the egg wash. We have our breading station ready here. We have our flour, we're gonna have the eggs here, and then I'm dipping our breadcrumb, and they're ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and crack about five large eggs. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little salt, about a quarter teaspoon, and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and whip those up. All right, egg wash is ready. Let's start rolling these ricotta balls. It's gonna get a large tablespoon here and just put a nice little heap of uh, ricotta mix on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in flour. All right, and then we're just gonna form a ball, real simple. The flour helps it to uh, mold real nicely. I'm going to go ahead and dip it in the egg. Just make sure it's all covered. And then from there, we go into the, the breadcrumb. Just roll it around in there. Very nice. And there you have it. We got the bowl. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the oil hot. I'm going to Put it on medium heat. And I want to fill up this pan about halfway. All right. Once this oil gets to 350 degrees, it's ready for frying. We got our oil over here. It's a uh, vegetable oil. And we're gonna, I've got it on 350 degrees. Go ahead and remove that. Okay. All right, let's go start frying these. Uh, they got the balls. I'm just going to put six in for right now. You want to move them around a little bit so they don't stick on the bottom. If they stick, they'll burn. We want to cook them about two minutes to three minutes on each side. I'm going to get them golden brown. Try to test it out here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful. They look like regular meatballs, don't they, Don? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The egg helps bind it so it stays together after, while it's cooking, basically. Man, look at it. Oh, it's 
suit looked great, huh? We'll just grab them real quick. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Here you go. Almost. You don't want to make these too big either because uh, they won't cook on the inside, basically. Ah, oh, look at that. I'm a professional. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at those. All right, last five. All right, final five are ready. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, oh look at those. But I got the balls. <laughs> Perfecto. All right, let these drain a minute. You'll be good to go. I made some uh, maninata sauce earlier. It's just garlic, basil, salt, pepper, and olive oil. So for, this is gonna be for the appetizer. I'm gonna have to put some sauce in this plate. Then I'm gonna take the ricotta balls and just place them right over the sauce. And then sprinkle it with a little Romano cheese. There you go, you got a beautiful appetizer or side dish. Appetizer, there we go, put a little sauce over there. Oh man. All right, we're gonna try these out. Dominic, go ahead, dig him, bud. All right, I'm trying to pump. See your appetizer first. Okay. Pretty confident that the spaghetti will taste like. <laughs> oh yeah. I like good old spaghetti. Oh, mm. grab my ball here. Grab one of these beef balls here. Delish. You good? All right, let me taste the appetizer first, too. Oh, man. Lots of cheese. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. Nah. Crunchy on the outside and so smooth and soft on the inside. Really, really good. Try that. We're good. Anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate the subscribers, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Dominic will be here next time. Ciao.